if you know the story. So First Samuel 17. I'll just tell the story and then paraphrase only so that I can read only a small portion of the scripture. So the Bible says the, 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 the Israelites and the Philistines went to battle and they put the battle in array. And those days there are some, you know, there's a way they play the game. Whereby from the two team or the two nations that comes to war, you will bring out your best man and I'll bring out my best man. And the two best men or best warriors in these two countries are going to fight. Whoever warrior, which, whichever country warrior wins, that country automatically wins. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. So that is the way the battles are fought most of the time in those days. So now the Bible says, the children of the Philistine came out, bringing out their best, their, their warrior, Goliath of God. The Bible says, this man was not just huge. He was a mountain of a man. Are you following me? A mountain. He was, the man is big. When you hear giant, the, the kind of giant, they are, no, they are no longer in the world today. And now, Israel, according to the scripture, the tallest man was Saul, the king. Because he was head and shoulder above everybody else. And Saul is a very small man in comparison to this giant. Then the Bible says, they put the battle there and they were there for many days. Nobody wanted to go forth. And the giant would come out every day and curse Israel. And he saw them and said, bring me your best and I'll kill him. <laughs> and the Bible said the soldiers of Israel plus their king were terrified, petrified in their corner. So one day the father of David sent him to go give food to the brethren who were in the war front. And David came with food, with basket to give food to them. And when he came, the Bible said, as David was delivering the message to his brethren, he heard Goliath shouted, came out to insult Israel and curse their God. And the Bible said, David asked them, who is that? And I'm sure, to this point, David has never heard about Goliath. So who is that? And they told David, that is Goliath of God. The champion of the Philistines. Great man of war. Nobody can fight him. <laughs> Hallelujah. I'll read from verse 41. And the Philistine came on and drew near unto... All right, before then. So David said, okay, what will happen to the man who killed this man? <laughs> they looked at him and said, who, who, who dare? Who dare fight this man? David said, I can kill the man. And according to the scripture, the Bible said David was just 17 years old. He has never been to war in his life. He is young. No experience of warfare. But he said, I can kill this man. And he said, well, anybody who can kill this man, the king had promised to give him his daughter to marry. You don't, you don't say that to a 17 years old guy. You don't, you don't, you don't talk like that. <laughs> so, the king will give him his daughter to marry and then his family will be tax free in Israel and so many other things. So David said, go tell the king that I can kill the man. I can whip him. They went to the king Saul and said, look, there's a young man here who said he can kill Goliath. Saul called him. He came. Saul looked at David and said, ah, man, but you are a young guy. Handsome young guy. So you are not able to go after this guy. This man has been a man of war from his youth. So he's a veteran, experienced warrior. Say, so you are not able to go. David smiled. He looked at Saul and said, look, your servant keep his father's flocks. One day, a bear came out and took one of the flock. He said, your servant went after the bear and smote the bear and delivered the lamp out of his paw. See, another day, a lion came and took one of the lamb. He said, your servant went after the lion and delivered the lamp from his jaw, from his mouth. See, and when the lion tried to attack me, he said, I caught him by his bed and I smote him. 
when Saul heard him say, my goodness, you did that? Yes, yeah, okay, God is with you. Surely. Then Paul, Saul said to him, all right, uh, before you go, here is my, you know, the king will have the best armor. So this is my armor. It was an armor of mail. So put it on and put on my helmet and take my sword. David put them on and couldn't work. He said, man, he said, king, sorry, I have, never, I have not proven these things. I can't use it. He said, I haven't proven it. I can't use it. Hallelujah. He said, let me, and, and that is something you must know. When you are faced with new battles, stick to what you are used to. <laughs> Hallelujah. When you have battles to fight, you have challenges that you don't know. Like, you know, when the COVID-19 came, the pandemic flooded the world. Many people are running health of scatter. When something new comes your way, stick to what you are used to. Don't try something new. That is not when you try something new. Hallelujah. So David said, look, I, I can't go with this because I haven't proven it. And the king said, so what are you going to go with? He said, I'm going with my catapults, my slings and my stones. This, I have, this ones I have proven. I know it works. Just like some of us have proven the word of God and we know it works. Hallelujah. So, let's go now. Verse 41. And the Philistine came on and drew near unto David. And the man that bare the shield went before him. This guy is so big. Somebody have to carry his shield. He's a warrior, you know. <laughs> Hallelujah. Verse 42. And when the Philistine looked about and saw David, he disdained him. For he was but a young and ruddy, ruddy being handsome and of a and of a fair countenance. See, he was young and handsome. So God walked through handsome people as well. <laughs> Glory to Jesus. Verse 43. And the Philistines said unto David, Am I a dog? That thou come to me with a staff. Staff means stick. <laughs> and the Philistines cursed David by his gods. Hallelujah. David was coming before this mighty man. Look, he has been a warrior from his youth. He's a mighty man physically. Somebody is carrying his shoe, but yet he was fully dressed with armors of war, well dressed. And now, here is a young man coming to fight him. He has no sword. He has no armor on him. He's coming with a stick. <laughs> Hallelujah. And what the Bible said, Goliath began to curse him with his God. Curse David by his God. You know, I tell you many times here that most of the time, the battles of life is the battles of the gods. Most of the time, the battles of life is the battles of the God. Now, Goliath cursing. To curse means to empower to fail. You see, when someone is cursed, the person is empowered to fail. Now, Goliath is going to fight. He didn't just start fighting. He began to curse the man by his God. You see, through his God, he's empowering the young man to fail. And you know, like the Bible told us how that when the children of Israel came out of Egypt... There was a king called Balak in the book of Numbers who hired a prophet called Balaam to come and curse Israel. He said, come and curse them for me that if you will curse them, I'll be able to defeat them. In other words, if you curse them, how, as what does curse mean? It means to empower to fail. When you are cursed, you are empowered to fail. It's another, the opposite of being blessed. When you are blessed, you are empowered to prosper. Hallelujah. So he said, come and curse them. And of course, you know the story, God wouldn't let the prophet to curse the children of Israel because he knows if they were cursed, they would lose the battle. Hallelujah. So now, Goliath is doing the same thing. He's going to fight, dressed, but as he goes forth, he was cursing the man by his guards. But David didn't keep quiet. David said, wow, it's now God's battle. All right, let's turn it to God's. Hallelujah. Verse 44. And the Philistines said to David, Come to me, and I will give thy flesh unto the fowls of the air and to the beasts of the field. Then said David to the Philistine, Thou come to me with a sword, and with a spear, and with a shield, but I come to thee in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel, whom thou hast defied. Hallelujah. Look at it. 
The man was cursing David with his, by his God. The Bible said David also spoke and said, look, you come to me with a shield, with a spear, hallelujah. You come to me with a sword. He said, but I come to you, not with my slings and my staff. I come to you in the name of the Lord God of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel, whom you have defied. What has happened? The battle is no longer physical. It's now the battles of the God. And in this battle, the stronger God wins. <laughs> Hallelujah. The stronger God wins. David said, you cross me by your God. I'm coming to you in the name of the Lord God of hosts. Read forward, forward. Hallelujah. Verse 46. This day, David says, will the Lord, not me, the Lord deliver thee into my hands and I will smite thee and take thine head from thee and I will give the carcasses of the host of the Philistine this day unto the beasts of the air and to the, far, the, the white beasts of the earth that all the earth may know that there is a God in Israel. David didn't say tomorrow. He said this day. This day. Not tomorrow. This day. Oh, hallelujah. That's faith. Faith takes it now. Faith, do it today. This day, not tomorrow. Say that I will take your head from off your shoulder. I will feed your carcass to the bears of the air and to the beasts of the field. And the whole world will know that there is a God in Israel. Verse 47. And all this assembly shall know that the Lord saved not with sword and spear. For the battles is the Lord's and he will give you into my hand. Did you see that? David said the battle is the Lord's. I am just a physical appearance. I'm just uh, like the Bible called Jesus, the express image. I am just the icon of the God you cannot see. Just like I'm talking to you right now. I am the physical representation of the angel you can see that is here right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. He said the battle is the Lord's. But he was the one going. He said, but the one who is fighting is the Lord. Verse 48. And it came to pass when the Philistine arose and came and drew near unto, to, to meet David, that David hastened and ran toward the, to meet the Philistine. And David put his hand in his bag and took thence a stone and slung it. Hallelujah. Slung it and smote the Philistine in his forehead, that the stone stuck into his forehead, and he fell upon his face to the earth and died. Now, I'll tell you something that the Bible didn't say. You know, when you read it, you said, David slew Goliath with his stones and slings. Question. What killed Goliath? Is it a stone? Is it a sling? Is it David's skill? What killed him? Don't forget, this Goliath was fully dressed. Only small space remaining, right? And David took a stone, a you know, smooth stone, as it were. You may say, well, David is a, is a skilled um, um, stone thrower. I tell you something. Even if the stone have healed Goliath on his leg, he will have still died. Even if the stone missed him and passed by him, he will have to die. You know why? The battle was the Lord's. Hallelujah. What killed Goliath is not the stone. What killed Goliath is not the, is not the skill with which David threw the stone. What killed Goliath is the faith that David demonstrated in God. Hallelujah. It was his faith that killed Goliath. Because he said, today, the Lord will deliver you into my hands and I would take your head from off your shoulder. David said it. So before David ever took a stone, Goliath was already dead. Remember, when Jesus spoke to a tree, the Bible says the tree looks normal. It looks like nothing happened. Jesus went his way. 
The next day Jesus came back that road, the Bible said the tree dried from its roots. In other words, the moment Jesus spoke, the life of that tree was cut off. But nobody can see it. When David said, today, the Lord will deliver into my hand, Goliath died. He was only <laughs> waiting to manifest. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. When I speak God's word over you today, something will happen. And it will manifest this month in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. It wasn't a stone. Because I tell you, if that stone were to hit anywhere, the man would have died. Praise the Lord. 